Hello and welcome to Uzi Talking to with me, Jeff Ollerhead. And today's premier guest is no other than Mr. Eddie Williams. All right, Teddy, how are you, mate? All right, Jeff, how are you, mate? I made up where you've come today. It's actually snowing, isn't it? Well, I didn't, uh, well, <laughs> didn't think I was going to make it in the snow. <laughs> That's right. Good job on the trucker, Jeff. No one's a driver, isn't it? That's a, I mean, I, I believe you were in Grimsby yesterday, but it was a, a, a treacherous right. journey. No, it was all right. That's, Leeds was bad. It's been bad all week. <laughs> I like to see that. It's great to hear. The beard looks like something out of a James Bond movie. Well, I was going to bring you to the uh, box of milk trade, yeah, but. <laughs> the fisherman's friends. <laughs> oh, I've never yeah. been interviewed, and I was thinking much of a way. What, what would Robert Kelroy sell for, you know what I mean? You're very smart and made up. So. Right then, Eddie, let's, let's, let's go back. So, your early memories, where you grew up, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I grew up in uh, Westlake, in Mom. Um, Lived there till I was a teenager, great times. Um, just being a kid, you know. It was so did you, was you hanging around with a gang? Was you have a gang? Here? Yeah, you used to have a gang. And funny enough, my kids, used to, my kids have asked me a few times, well, I didn't, you didn't have mobile phones or nothing, so how did you know where your mates were and all that? I said, well, you just come out of the house and we'd just go, well, I said, and then you'd listen, well, I said, and you'd hear, well, and you'd go, oh, get over there. So you go and find your mates by making little Indian noises, you know what I mean? That's That's a, yeah, that, that was the text message, you know. Whoa! Well, yeah, I can't yeah. Do, no. used to all around the estate and then you'd know where your <laughs> mates were. Or you'd just go to the footy field and you'd be on the footy field. Which which one did you go to? Was it on the um, Lincoln Park? Or? No, no, we, we, where I live, well, I actually live there now. I, I've always wanted to live there because I grew up there, so I, I moved there. And I still live there now. Still get the ice cream on and everything there. And the field. At the back of the estate, it never get used now. It's it's all overgrown because kids aren't kids anymore. But we used to play from the sun up till the sun down. We'd be playing football on the field. Yeah, so it's right. not that far from Morton Shore, eh? The famous no. pop from Morton Shore. We used to always be down the shore. We used to love the shore. I mean, we used to be as brown as the table when we were kids. We were never in, never in. But kids aren't kids anymore. I was thinking the other day. I thought, you know, we used to play that in. Oh, what was that thing called the Wall of Death? You used to spin your hands, spin, 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 standing against the wall and press on you, and you'd collapse. Kids aren't into that anymore. Not into it. Dead man falls. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What do you want to get shot by? Or I want to get a grenade and pretend I've been. Well, I, I, I love being a kid. I, I couldn't wait to get out the door. You know, we, my mum never used to ground us and we were naughty, you know, and she used to shout at us. And, but I couldn't wait to get out the house. And, and this lockdown thing, I was thinking, I thought, when I was a kid now, I'd be cracking up. They'd have a police thing out looking for me because I couldn't stay in the house. I'd have to be out. Must be hard for like, I mean, you, you got some, um, you grew up, you had two brothers, you? Yeah, Sam and Tom. Sam and Tom, and your mum's still going, and, and yeah, your dad's yeah. Great, Eddie, yeah. They were great. So. You were, they were great, my mum and dad. They, 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 I mean, my dad was always working right away, so we got away with murder. And, and, I remember when we were a kid, we'd upstairs and done something wrong. It was me and Sam. Sam was always with me. Um, and, and I heard my dad saying to me, Mum, I, I, I don't want to be coming back home from work and just shouting at him all the time, you know what I mean? I was right on him at all. <laughs> he used to come down and go, Hi, Dad, I haven't seen you for ages. And he oh, all right, how are you? Got away with that one. <laughs> so, take to school. What schools did you go to? Uh, it was in Eastway, Eastway Primary. Um, me and Robbie Armus there and uh, Chrissy Y, uh, Basher, Basher Navarro, um, Mark Roy, he was there. There's loads of us like. So from East Way you went to, uh, <coughs> is it to, uh, was it Henry Mells? Henry Mells and yeah. Henry, Henry Mells. Mells. Yeah. It was just all boys then. And then like halfway through it merged the Wallacey School with the girls, we were all made up. We all so made in school, up. Just, was you a good boy in school or was you a... I was a good boy up until I was about, say I was about 11, and used to get picked on and all that, you know, believe it or not, I was an innocent, shy little boy, <laughs> little blonde, curly hair and all that, yeah. and uh, I, I used to get picked on, well, you can get sort of picked on, it, bullied or pushed about and all that, and you just, oh, no. and then one day I was in the street, and my dad was looking out the window, I'll never forget him. He had come up the path and was nearly crying and everything. And he opened the door and he just said to me, You're not coming in 
and you're not getting no tea. So you go over there and slaughter him out and shut the door and then went to the window. And I stood there and I'm starving and I thought. So this lad was stood there, me there, and he went on there. Do you remember the last name? Hey, Dal. It was Mark's brother, Dal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I looked at him, and anyway, he went to hit me, and I hit him. And we started fighting and all that. And I don't know what it was, something just opened up, and I, I thought, it's not like this. <laughs> and my dad opened the window, and he went, give him another one. <laughs> and I was like... So then I come in and had me to see. But the next day, it was like a... A superhero moment or something like that. I walked down the road and I thought, everyone's getting it today. Prepare <laughs> <laughs> for that, you're going to shop place because you know, I've got a story, it's not something about like uh, you've always fronted trouble, you know, you yeah. never run away from trouble. I'll, I won't run away from nothing, I never have done and I never will. Nothing. I'm one of these people that I'm, I'm not bothered about, nothing, nothing bothers me. Nothing will ever bother me. So Mo yeah, just, yeah. Money. Trouble fighting anything, nothing, nothing bothers me. You just gotta, you gotta lift your head on, haven't you? Because if you worry about it, it doesn't make it go away, does it? If you worry about it, so you might as well. So, I think you know, I was gonna say, um, so I'm sorry, you, you got the slipper or the cane, what happened there? Oh, that's cool. You give me the slipper in there, uh, east way. Um, I remember this lad there. What did you shoot Benji over the Mr. Rawlinson, his name was, and that's what I thought. I'm thinking about it now, you know, like from when you were a kid, you didn't know nothing. Yeah. And he used to smile when you walk in, and he'd be like, and I thought, he, he enjoys this. Like. And then he'd give me the slipper, he bent us. I remember it was Robbie Armbuster, me, Robbie Armbuster, and, and Bash in Alana. And we stood up, and Robbie used to start laughing, and he couldn't control but, himself yeah. on the shoulders. Yeah. 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 And I was behind him, but as soon as the shoulders went, I, I went, and I couldn't stop laughing. I'm one of the people I can't stop laughing when I... Because you know you're going to get the slipper. Yeah. <coughs> but I tell you what, that slipper made me stop laughing as well. Was, <laughs> it, was, it, was it was a hardback, was it? Yeah, it was a proper... Did he put you over his knee, or did it... He wanted to, but we were having none of it. He bent us over the table. What <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? These teachers... Um... Another one at school, you know, and... and, and this is just a quick one. You know, with all these injuries nowadays, claims for you and all yeah. this. I thought, I've always suffered with the shoulder. And if it, it, it lift my arm up, I can only have it up for so long. And, and I have to put it down, it hurts me. And the only thing I can ever think of was made to stand in the hall with my arm in the, in the air because I never used to put my hand up to answer the question. Is that why you missed the bus now? <laughs> it was like that for about an hour. Yeah. And, and I yeah. thought, that's damaged me though. Well, well, for an hour, you should yeah, I had to stand there for an hour. You tried for 20 minutes. Oh, shit, that's an army trick, isn't it? Like a Chinese that's, that's, that's good, man. So it was the teacher, you stand there with your arm up? Yeah. So what, when did you think, I've got to take it down? I forgot about it. <laughs> it went normal, I forgot about it. Pins and needles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's very still. So he? the cane, and so what's the so sound of the cane? in the uh, Henry Mouse. Joe uh, Byer, the teacher. Mr. Egan, it was. Yeah. And he was sound, Mr. Egan. He didn't, he was a nice fella. But he didn't, I said, well, he, he lashed me one. And, and I went like that, woof. I said, yeah, I'll just give us a good hiding. I said, I don't want none of that. I'd rather have had a good hiding than one of them. But he said, you've got another three of them. Three of them. And I, and I went like that, but he, he only tapped me with the other three. He was sound, Mr. Egan. And smothered him, you know, the seats is like myself. I got the cave. Um, and it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an experience. We used to say you four or six. So moving on from school, I mean, you've been with a girl all your life, as all fathers know. Uh, I first yeah. time I seen you, said you were the Chinese girl, why was that? Yeah, Sue, Sue Wang. <laughs> she Chinese? I used to say to people I was with, my girlfriend was Chinese, uh, Sue Wang. <laughs> Sue Wang? <laughs> Sue Wang. She works in a chippy. She works in a chippy. I first met Sue when I was about, I'd say I was about 13, um, and she used to walk a dog, a rock liner. And I've always had Rottweilers since. And she used to walk it for the kennels. And I liked Rottweilers, and I liked it. As soon as I seen it, I liked it. So I walked over to her for the top shot, and I said, um, you allowed to swear on me? Yeah, do you know what you want? I said, uh, it's an open shot. I walked over, and I said, uh, hiya, you know what I said, is that your dog? And she looked at me, and she went, fuck off. I carried on walking. And I thought, oh. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the the chase is on. I think it was about a year later. Um, 
she sort of said, I spoke to her. A year, yeah. A so year you, later. So yeah. you prolonged yourself for a year, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she had a Rottweiler as well, and you like Rottweilers. She's like a Rottweiler, really. Yeah. Was that inspired from Damien, not the old man? Yeah. <laughs> the old she reminds me of him. <laughs> <laughs> she watches me when I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eddie, do you know what? With the bullying stuff, but what made me laugh just quickly tell the story about uh, the time you had a bit of lumber with these uh, Americans and then. Um, no, it was one American. I had a bit of trouble with these lads. Um, had a fight, this, that, and the other. And then the other one wanted a fight. Anyway, cut a long story short, I'd done a few of them in. And then they had this, this uncle who was a wrestler. So he kept saying he was an American and all this. I didn't believe him, I just said, well, I So I'm sat in the front room one day, and, and I'm lying there, and it seems says, is this the car? So I'm looking out the window, and I'm just seeing a hand come on the, on the roof. And I thought, that's really the same on the front. <laughs> Next thing, this fellow on front, oh, and so God, he unfolded out this car, and I went, size of him. And she said, he's coming here. He had a vest on and all, his arms are like this, and straight away I went, and then died. So I ran in the kitchen and I said, tell him I won't be a minute. So I get in the kitchen, top off, and I seen the fairy liquid on the side, and I'm like, this is fairy liquid all over you, bro, and then get in, get in, I thought, bro, you get no moves on me, mate. Slippery so next thing he hears him, he goes, is your man And I went, oh, he is a proper American. So she comes in the kitchen, she goes, oh, you know, I said, I go out the back gate, so I runs round, and he's at the front, and, and as I get to the grass at the side, I went, I said, come ahead, mate. He goes, are you ready? And I was like, yeah, yeah. I said, come ahead, mate, get on the grass here. I said, don't bother me, mate. And the wind was blowing, and, and, and all the bubbles started blowing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it dawned on him straight away what I'd done. I thought, he's just going to get me and, and give it all this and start throwing me around and all that. But it dawned on him, I, was, I looked like a bar of soap. And, and, and he just sort of looked at me, man. Oh, crazy, man. I said, get him a bit of you. And he straightened his car and he gone, and he goes, I'll be back. I said, I'll see you, Arnie. <laughs> and I went in, I told you what, I've never felt so clean in all my life. I've swilled it up. I've never seen him again. I've never seen him again. Oh, do you know what the thing that that's, that, that's the front? And then, I mean, obviously, with your strong views, which on Facebook and stuff like that, um, you know, I remember you then going on one side of the taxis. The tax, I mean, years ago, she didn't be able to get a tax. What happened there? What, what, what started that off with me? Used to, the taxi office in Martin, it was better than the pub. You used to go to the pub, and then you'd all go to the taxi office over the road, whether it was Rob's or um, Town, Town yeah. that was up the road. You used to go to Town because you had a couch. You could sit on my couch and. Yeah. Oh, it's next session coming on here. <laughs> Oh, you used to have a laugh and a joke, and you get a taxi like that, bang, 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 bang. Anyway, the taxi's got bought out and all that by someone. You can't get a taxi for loving the money in Martin. You ring the you probably get one now. You ring a taxi any time of the night on a weekend, but in normal times, you ain't getting a taxi. Nightmare. But it's still got the office to have me. Exactly. And I press the button for the thing, and it's linked to the one in, in, in the Miscard or Wallace. Yeah. I'm in Martin. No, not interested. Not interested. So it just annoyed me, and I thought, why is everything getting bought, bought up and just moved on and, and Morton's getting forgotten about here? It's just full of kebab houses and charity shops and everything. Everything's getting bought up and moved. And I thought, what's going on? What's happened here? But the first time I've done that with the woman, the woman was quite funny on the thing. And she, yeah. she, she's on the row with me. So it's become a regular thing. When I come out, because I've got to the age where I don't go clubbing it no more than those, I had a little laugh and a joke at the woman on the thing. So I don't need a taxi only live around the corner. But loads of people are going on about they can't get a taxi and they've got to walk home and so I know it's fat anymore, then. And you think, you know, the this day and age, you know, that's one of the, the highlights. You come up this same thing. It's ruined you, mate. If you can't get a yeah. taxi, it's ruined you, mate. Terrible. But I, I I did I played that out a bit, I thought, better leave her alone, she's gone on to me. I'm gonna do it one day and she'll open the door. I mean, yeah. bang! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> <Like, look. laughs> right, you'll be seeing more Eddie in part two. Take care, folks. Stand by.